Portland's mayor is telling the protesters, too, to just stay home tonight and let others come downtown and enjoy the city. There's a lot of activities going on tonight. Well, the mayor joined the police chief at an afternoon press conference at City Hall. Lisa Balick was there. Lisa, how are they going to stop or prevent a repeat of last night? There were a lot of folks that said the police waited too long to move in to stop these rioters. Well, the police chief said here today that he is not going to wait uh, too long to step in if you see the violence that was starting to happen last night. Now, this is one of the rallies here that is gathering here at City Hall where they have just told people, look, if you want to march, go ahead and march. But the mayor is working hard to reassure people the city is a safe place despite what happened on both sides of the river last night. The hope, though, is by shrinking the crowd of marchers, police can move in quicker if violence erupts, and the plan is to keep protesters off the freeways. My goal not to have the amount of vandalism and frankly rampant criminal activity we had last night. That's just, uh, it would be my desire to keep them off the freeways, yes. Is that part of the plan? That would probably be part of the plan. Some anarchists who hijacked that event and did terrible damage to our neighbors and friends. That's a crime and it is unacceptable. Now, as you mentioned, the mayor is urging the public to come downtown for a typical Friday night, the Blazer game, dinner shows. But after what people saw when thousands marched through the east and west sides of Portland, it is a tough sell with the traffic and freeways that were at a standstill and block after block of destruction. Now, both the mayor and the police chief said they support people's First Amendment rights to demonstrate, but when they start to interfere with others, that's when there's a problem, and it's a problem they hope to prevent tonight if folks start marching. But again, this is a peaceful rally standing here. But again, they've been told, if you want to march, go right ahead. We'll see what happens, and we'll be there tonight. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Bailey, Point Six News.